to say something and on this bad habits that i'm going to be talking about some are proven by research some are those that i used to do so without raising time let's get to this. the first bad studying habit you must avoid is studying on the bed proven by research studying on the bed is not very good for your brain it's very distracting as a bed is a very comfortable area and a sleeping area so when you're being productive on a bed is kind of distracting for your brain out uh, because it's a sleeping area and you are being productive on a bed at the same time is kind of distracting what i would recommend is you to just set up a your productive corner find the desk that you love and uh, just put your stationery to it and things that you, think you want decorate it and just have a productive corner and avoid setting on the bed and our second bed setting habit is Studying on an empty stomach. Studying on an empty stomach is not very good for you and your brain. And I used to do this and I would get very bad headaches. I used to do it because I wanted to avoid being sleepy while studying. And it was not very good for me or my brain. And I've stopped it now. So uh, you can have small meals that are not even time consuming meals like granola. I love eating granola. You can eat it with your gut or milk or something, a, a sandwich, uh, just those meals that are not, those type of meals that will make you feel sleepy while studying. So I would highly recommend you just avoid studying on an empty stomach, it's not very good and those headaches are really good. And our third best studying habit you must quit now is studying without break. Now, it's very hard for us students, the pandemic and all of that stuff. We have lots of homeworks, lots of tests, lots of assignments, projects, and etc. And break time is not really that considered important, but it is really important. So I would highly recommend you just study and take breaks. It could be a five minute break, that would be amazing. It could be, I don't know, the amount of time that you want to take on break time so uh, i use this app called my study bunny so basically on this app is set an amount of time that you want to study you can use the promodora the count down method the there are lots of just methods to choose from and you could when you're done during that study time you could put on break time there's that option of break time so when that certain amount of break time is over it will remind you to get back on the study and what i love about study bunny is easy to use it's cute it's cool and it's free so it's available on ios and android be sure to check it out i'll link it down in my channel description and just check it out and give it a shot and have those breaks and our fourth best studying habit is studying with distractive music so what i mean by distractive music is music that has lyrics in it and uh, it turns out that type of music is really distracting because your brain can focus on two things the lyrics uh the homework or everything so it's really distracting for your brain and it's not very good what i would recommend is Studying with music such as Lofi Beats, I really love Lofi Beats, they are really cool. White notes, some even say music in a foreign language because you don't know the language, so your mind would not be paying that much attention to that type of music. So I, I, I haven't really tried that one, but if you like and if you're interested, you can try it and DM me and tell me how it works. But I want to try it too and see how it goes. So avoid distractive music and I have a Spotify account at Study with N. So I have created playlists of the music that I use 
while studying so be sure to check that out and get some last but not least is having a studying it's not having a study timetable i mean i wanted to say that not having a study timetable is not very good because you don't have an idea what to start with what to end with what to study first and stuff like that so i would highly recommend you to just have a study timetable now. I use this app called My Study Life. It's free. Uh, what you basically do on this app, you just set subjects that you have maybe homework, revision, assignments, and projects, and just set that time and stuff like that. It's, it's really cool though. It's How can I explain it? It just you, you can even put the classes that you're taking of the certain subject and it even reminds you to just did you finish that homework did you study for the exam did you what 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 and stuff like that so i would highly recommend you just check it out it's available in ios and what i love about it it's free you don't have to pay anything so you just have to create an account and of it and just use it it's free and it's it's a it's a really cool app thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button if you did not enjoy the video and be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and DM me that did you like the video or not because my comment section is kind of blocked because I'm still underage or something so be sure to follow me on Pinterest at start with N at Instagram at start with N and Give me tips on how can I improve my videos. And thank you so much. Have a lovely productive week ahead of you. Bye.